Remember this sexy nub from a couple of weeks ago while I featured this product and called it the best Tesla accessory ever? And I told you that they are really good about pushing software upgrade? Well, they just sent an OTA upgrade and it has a lot more features added. It is updating right now. So we're gonna be playing with that upgrade and show you what it offers. They include a lot of stuff from our comment section, including door unlatching. Hey, what's going on everyone? For those of you who are not familiar with this product, this is a rotary dial from Enhance with physical buttons that allows you to control so many different aspects of your Tesla that is not even available on the Tesla's main screen. For example, you can control how much regenerative braking that you want. You can precondition manually your car without even navigating to the supercharger. You can precondition and heat up your battery. Those are just a few examples of so many things that you can do with this knob. You can also use it as a uh, phone app uh, for a instrument cluster display. And I did a whole review of this knob a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna put that link down in the description below. We got this product from T-Sport Line, which is the American reseller of this product. They are based in Georgia. I have a link as well as a discount code Shiva Tesla that you can use to purchase this if you wanna check it out. You can also directly purchase it from Enhance, the same discount code Shiva Tesla. Tesla works on both of those websites. Since we always tend to use an iPhone on our demos, let's use an Android phone today, and it works exactly the same. So we have got the Enhance app open here, and if we go to the commander or the knob in the bottom, uh, you'll see that. Let's update the commander first. When we go to commander, there is a settings icon there. There is a form or update by level, and that is how simple it is. It shows the release um, note is 4.3.1, and it shows wipers and a few other bug fixes. So that is the commander update, and let's just hit update, and it says downloading file, and let's just let this run. It says do not turn off the commander from the OBD port or leave the vehicle. So you gotta be staying inside the vehicle while this is going because if you leave it midway through, uh, there could be issues with the commander. You could break it. So I would recommend you stay in the vehicle. This does not take very long. I've done this in the past, it's super easy. So uh, that should be pretty quick. It's already at 11% and we'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Now we just updated the commander so that it is connected. It doesn't have a little software update sign here. So that means that is done. Now let's update the nub. It is exactly the same process. You just go to the settings, firmware update, and here are all the features that they added with this release note. And there's a lot of features. We'll go over each of them here in just a second. But to update it, you just hit the update and the same process, it is starts downloading. So we just finished upgrading uh, to 2.3.1. And if you look at it, they actually are like Tesla, where they tell you what they improved, new features, improvement, which is really good. Like they improved the wipers here with the synchronized Tesla screen. And then they added all of these new features. Look at that, that's a lot of features that they added. Not even Tesla had so many features in one release and improvement, bug fixes. So they tell you all about what they added here in the screen. And this is a very new device and they already had so many different upgrades to add different features. And they directly tackled a lot of this from our comment section since our video was posted a couple of weeks ago. Let's play with some of these updates and I am super excited to see if the door on latch actually works, which they say they added. So we're going to be customizing our acceleration button uh, so if we go to this icon here, the acceleration button to door unlock. So let's go over here and see open uh, on the open menu here. And let's put front right or front left, which is the driver door. So let's try that. So I can close it from here. It says stimulus button door unlock. When the speed is set more than zero, it may not work. When the speed is higher, well, that's fine. So let me save this action. Now it says that is the door. And it, if you can see, um, it actually updated here. So let's see if it does the job. Enhance, you did it, you did it. I can even open the driver door, um, which is not a problem. Anybody could open the driver door, but the fun is when you can open the passenger door. So. Let's now reprogram that to open the passenger. So the front right door, which is the front passenger door, that should open the front passenger door. That updated. So, yep, the right door popped out. 
Now it's super impressive they added the door button here. In a typical conventional way, you would have to program each of these buttons to control the four doors if you wanted to control it. But they thought this through and they future-proofed themselves with sub-menu. And in my opinion, this opens up a lot of possibility for them to add so many different features here. What I mean by that is if we press on the door, which is what we're going to customize this button here, if we press on the door, and if we go all the way to the bottom, they added something called door sub menu. What this allows you to do is if we save this action, if you look at it, now the door icon indicated all four doors. Does it open all four doors when you press here? No, it actually opens up another set of menus. So if we press here, if you look at it, it opened up another set of menu where we can unlatch different doors one at a time, but without taking off these three buttons. These three buttons will do other stuff. Meanwhile, if you just press here, it opened a sub menu. So now that opened the driver door, that opened the front passenger door, that opened the rear passenger left door, and that opened the rear passenger right door, and that is all reflected in this screen here. So they actually, in a clever way, figured it out where you can press one button and then now you open up four additional buttons they could keep doing that, adding sub menus to each of this, and they could add so many more features. So I have no doubt they're gonna continue to do that, which is very impressive. Now, while we're talking about sub menu, let me show you another impressive sub menu that they added. So if we go over here, it's the volume control. So all it does is if I press here, it controls the volume of the car. So that button is only used for volume control at the moment, that's all it does until they added a sub menu to this. So if we go over here, it says volume, we're in the media tab. Now, if we go over here and add media sub menu, then save it, that becomes a media sub menu. And you know what it does? Now you can do play, pause, hit next, go previous. You can still go over here and use the middle tab, which is the volume tab to control the volume of the car. And then they added a shortcut for voice command. So if we were to go over here and press this, the car's voice command actually activate. I don't know if you heard of that, but it actually activated there. So let me show you a little zoom out view here to demonstrate this feature. So if you look at the screen there, if I was to press on this sub menu and start the voice command, the voice command starts and we can start talking to the car. Now let's go through each of the menu items to show you what they have added with this update. So glove box was there, trunk frunk was there. Now they added all the front, right, all of those doors that you can unlatch, uh, so which is really good. And then the sub menu that we talked about. If we go to the drive menu, uh, this is stayed the same. They didn't add anything to the drive menu. Go to media, of course they added the voice control as well as the sub menu that we demonstrated here earlier. Wipers, um, it says control wipers, and this was one of the bug update. It now reflects uh, exactly what the wiper control looks like in the screen. The autopilot, they haven't added autopilot anything to that. Charging, you can battery precondition, which is an awesome feature, but that was already there. Climate control, they um, added a couple of things on the climate control. Um, the temperature, the fan speed, all of this is exactly the same, but now they added the rear middle seat, uh, the rear right, so now you can control the rear one because in the past you could only control the front one, but now you can control the rear one as well, including the front right, the front left that was already there. Now the rear seat control is here. You can also now control the steering wheel heater, which was missing on the first iteration that we had showed you here. Mirrors, of course, is the same. This is where they added a whole bunch of new features now. First of all, they have the drift mode activated now uh, and the performance models, you can activate this. Looks like it actually works for all wheel drive models. So it might work on our car as well. There's the off-road, uh, which is the snow mode. Basically, it allows you to turn off the traction control. It allows the wheel to spin and they give you a warning, follow Tesla's manual, but don't do this at a higher speed, just at a lower speed, but it allows you to just free up your uh, wheels. This is actually not a thing on the Tesla's main menu. Like there is not an option to turn on off-road mode. So this actually allows you to do that. Slip start, that's a Tesla feature. Again, allows the wheel to uh, spin freely. And then the track mode that they added. So 
all of these additional modes are added in the text and control. Uh, lock and unlock, uh, they also added a few more lock and unlock here where you can do the child lock, child lock left, both, child lock right, lock and unlock all four doors. So they added a whole bunch of lock and unlock options. So what do you all think about this product as well as the OTA upgrade and all the features that they added? What other features would you like them to add to this sexy nub? Do you already have a sexy nub after we reviewed it last time or if you pre-ordered it, please let me know your experience uh, with the product and if you have encountered any issues. So far, I haven't. I have installed this about three, four weeks ago and it is in the car and it is extremely useful uh, for so many different reasons. I use it every day and I'm really impressed with the product and the quality, the Bluetooth. Uh, when I want to connect, it connects every single time with no issues and these buttons haven't felt at all. So that's a really great news. I have had two or three Tesla software upgrade after I installed these buttons and I did not have any issues, any compatibility issues or anything with the software upgrade. So looks like Enhance is looking out for everybody, adding all of those features and they're not just in the business of selling a product and just stop supporting it and bringing another product to the market. Looks like they're continuously improving it. I hope that is the trend and they continue with that. Thank you Enhance for listening to our feedback and thank you all for watching the video and providing all of this feedback. Please continue to provide your feedback in the comment section below and we will pass those along to Enhance. Thank you very much for your continued support to the channel. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and come back again for another exciting Tesla accessory.